is a mitzvah say, positive commandment. Tom tiyem Hashem Elokecho. You should be perfect. You should be all relying, without any question. You should have faith in your God, because the Torah tells us the nations of the world they have sooth- soothsayers. They raise the dead from the grave to know what the future will be. That's not for you. You should have full trust in Hashem Elokecho. You have a Novi, you have a prophet I will have. If you have questions, you go to the Novi. Today, that we have no Novi, we have no prophet. So how do we know what Hashem wants? We have the Torah. We have Doli Yisrael. We have what we call Das Torah. We have Torah minds, minds that are permeated with Torah, which give us perspective in terms of what God wants from us. But after everything said and done, there's certain areas which are left unclear. So how do you compensate for all these so-called shortcomings or lack of clarity? Tom Tim Hashem Elokecho. You should be Tomim. There should be a Tmimus. You should have full faith without any question and rely on Hashem. David Melsus Kosi Shuas Esav Shem Hashem Ekro. David, whether it was as the Mishnah tells us, Kishem Shem Vorchan La Tov, Kachem Vorchan La Ra. O Bechol Mido, it says Bechol Modecho. You should love God. So the Gemara tells us, whatever attribute he allows you to be exposed to, even which is so exacting, you should still love God. But how is it possible? Because if it's rooted in trust, but what's trust rooted in? Why do you trust him? That's the Avas Hashem. If a person has sufficient love, you know that the one who loves you will not do anything to diminish you or to harm you. It's only whatever is done is in your best interest. Identically, understanding what HaKadosh Baruch wants for us and our relationship with Him, you have that trust. So there is no reason to seek out all types of methods which are not accepted by the Torah to know what the future will be or what will be or what won't be because it's all irrelevant. Because what's going to be is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to be. That's what it is. That's Tommy Tiyam Hashem Elokecho. That's, but it's rooted in Avas Hashem. If you have the Ava, one doesn't suspect that he will do anything other than what's in our best interest. The whole concept of Bitochon, the person that has faith, there's emuna, there's belief in his faith, will be Teich Hashem. You have bitochon, faith again, it's trust. Who do you trust? You trust someone who you know will not turn on you, whose interest is only in you, not in himself. He has no self-interest. His interest is only in us. And if everything goes back to the understanding, what did HaKadosh Baruch Hu create this existence? He only created this existence for us, that we should be beneficiaries of the ultimate good. So therefore, whatever he provides for us, whatever settings, Whatever tests we have, whatever the whatever way, the way we process it, it's really irrelevant. We have to process it with the context that we accept it, because ultimately his interest is only in us. Mm-hmm.